So right now I'm in my small solar room and it's kind of a mess, but there's my inverter. It's a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. There's a voltage. It's a Blue Sky MPPT charge controller. And here are my two universal batteries. They're 35 amp hours each and they are wired in parallel. Right now it's about 9.30 in the morning. It is May and I have three 100 watt solar panels. I seem to be getting about 11 amps, but the max that I've seen is almost 20. And that's with two 100 watt solar panels wired in parallel, 12 volts each. So right now I'll take you guys into the house to show you guys what I'm powering. And this extension cord is pretty long. I'll show you guys right now. So right now the extension cord is coming from the outside all the way around the house. And it goes through my brother's room and I'm planning to change that so it can it can come out through through under this heater. We don't we don't have the heater connected, so there's not gonna be any risk of heat. Any hit heat issues with the cables and this is just the internet cable. So the extension cord goes through there, goes through the back, and then it comes out here. And right now I'm powering this TV. It's a 32 inch Dynex TV. It uses about 75 watts. This stereo, it's a pretty good stereo. Right now I'm watching Walking Dead. The first season, I don't remember what episode. And it powers up the computer which is what is running Netflix and I'm using about or I am using 150 48 watts I've only had it on for a little bit of a little while but let's see average two amps that's pretty good and I will show you guys my solar panels in a bit what do you want Benito? so there are three solar panels it's actually almost the end of May I forgot to mention that so the sun goes like this like that I don't know if that's a good explanation but there are the two grape solar ones just installed those weekend Saturday it's Monday today or Tuesday there's a, or I, I don't remember actually Sunday or, or Saturday and then there's the Renogy 100 watt and I will show you where they how they're connected so they all connect into those AC connectors MC4 I think that's what they're actually called and go in there and I had to put that little door because there was rats that were getting up there but there's not any rats right now <laughs> and then here it all is again this is all solar powered there's another light right there and another one over there yeah so right now it's about 9.40, just check the time, 9.43 actually, and 13 amps. That's pretty good. So yeah, when I, I was making these mounts for the solar panels, I was using this area, so it's like a mess down there. There's metal shavings, I don't know why this is in the connector. Yeah, but all these tools except maybe this one, and uh, I forget what kind of saw that is, uh, are all solar powered. All these battery powered tools are all solar powered. This is solar powered as well, and I believe it uses about almost 300 watts. I'm not sure, I don't remember. But this guy here, his name is Benito. He's a good dog. Right, Benito? Go outside. Come on. Good boy.
Yes, if you guys have any questions, please let me, please ask. I will answer them to my best, to my best ability. Thank you for watching this video. Also, one, one thing I forgot to mention is that when my batteries are running low and it's getting dark, um, or not running low, but when it is becoming dark and they still have a good amount of charge, I usually disconnect the TV, computer, and surround sound and just connect it to regular power from the grid just so that my batteries won't drain. I don't want to risk damaging them or anything. And I'm planning on getting two six volt golf cart batteries just so that I don't have to have issues with destroying them and I'm just also wondering if you guys know any good equalizers for a minimum of eventually I'm planning on getting four having four golf cart batteries two, two in series and parallel and so if you guys know a good equalizer relatively not too expensive uh, that would be something useful for me. Thank you. Alright guys, so I found one problem with my setup being that this blue cable over here, it's like, okay, so there's this cable next to this white one right here. So it's right here. That runs to my desktop in my room. I will show you guys. And this is still playing, I just paused it. Alright, it's still running, I paused it. And if we go into my brother's room, I have everything connected to here. 144. And that currently is running my room to wire. Mind this mess, I just moved into my room so it's kind of messy. Whenever I connect this internet cable that is the one that I just showed you guys in the living room, whenever I turn on or even connect it to my computer while it's off or on, the router starts to fail. Let's say for example, I'm not gonna do it because uh, I don't, I don't want to have to wait for the router to restart. So whenever I connect that blue cable over there, the one right there, this the service light, it starts flashing red and these flash like crazy, and this one turns off, the broadband. I'm not sure why it does that. Maybe it's because of the power inverter. It says it's pure sine wave, but I don't know. I don't. I got it a while ago so I can't really return it but if you guys have any knowledge of that can you guys please let me know but my computer can run off the solar it goes up to about 200 something watts when it's idle and I was gonna show you guys that oh, how how the system runs like that but being that I can't connect it because due to the internet, I'm not going to. And so, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please uh, write them in the description or personal or through message via YouTube. Thank you and sorry about this mess as well. <laughs> so... Yeah, but like the monitor on my desktop, it was running from the solar. Like this too. This runs off of solar. And I can charge up my surface as well with the solar. Razor mouse, I do gaming via or exact battlefield it's really it's a fun game so I will edit this and post it on YouTube thank you for watching